Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at tension in stationary particles so we can answer questions from exercise 7b. So in these two questions that we're going to look at here, I've divided one up into one type of question where we have a smooth bead that's threaded through a light and extensible string, and then a different type of question where we've got two strings attached to one particle. And there's going to be a difference in the maths that we're going to use for each of those problems. Only a subtle difference, but a difference. So in this question here that we'll start on, a smooth bead Y is threaded on a light, inextensible string. The end of the strings are the end of the string are attached to two fixed points at X and Z on the same horizontal level. The bead is held in equilibrium by a horizontal force of eight newtons acting in the Z X direction. The bead Y is now vertically below X at an angle of 30 degrees. Part A is find the tension in the string. B is find the weight of the bead. So, the subtle difference between this question and the next question will be that it is a smooth bead threaded in a light inextensible string. What you can apply by this is that there is one continuous piece of string that the bead is hooped through. So. The subtle difference here in the question between this one and the next one is same piece of string, same tension. Okay, so the tension on either side of the piece of string that you'll see in this question here will have the same tension on both the left and the right hand side because it's just one continuous string where the bead is looped through. If the tensions were different, then the bead would just slide either to the left or to the right on that piece of string. But in this case, same string, same tension. So this is how the diagram looks as described in the question. So we have y directly below x, and this angle here is at a 30 degree angle. We have an eight Newton force pulling it to the left, because if you didn't have that 8 Newton force and you just had a bead threaded through a piece of string, the bead would obviously hang in equilibrium in the center of this piece of string. <clears throat> but in this case, we have an 8 Newton force acting to the left that's pulling the particle to the left. Um, so that the diagram is now in this scenario here. And the question is to find the tension in the string. So since there is only one string it is inex and it's inextensible, the tension is the same. So tension in the rope between Y and Z will be the same as the tension between X and Z. So now we've got to think that we've got to um, add in the weight force of the particle. So um, let's put an uh, mg force here, but we're going to work out the weight. So it's going to be the combined force here. And we can now start to resolve forces. So let's resolve this tension force here. That seems to be the only one that's not in either a horizontal or a vertical direction. So in this case here, we have a 30 degree angle here, if you spot the Z angle. And then we're gonna have a T cos 30 and T sine 30 on these two sides here. So we've got two unknowns. We've got a T unknown and we've got an M unknown. So simultaneous equations are gonna be used here. Resolving horizontally to the right, we're going to have leftward forces equal rightward forces, so T cos 30 equals 8. And dividing by cos 30, we can work out then that T is equal to 9.24. So, so no need for simultaneous equations there, because in the horizontal component, M is not involved, so we can work out T on our own. So T is 9.4 newtons, and now we need to work out M. So resolving vertically now, so we've got two upwards forces here. We've got the T sine 30 and the T force as well. So we've got two kind of two T forces, um, and the MG force acting downwards. <clears throat> so calculate the answer. So MG 13.86 newtons here is the weight of the bead. Okay, the mass of the bead you'd have to divide by 9.8, but the weight of the bead is 13.86 newtons. Lovely, there we are. So, as I repeat myself, same string, same tension. Different question now, let's have a look at a different one. We now have a particle of mass, mass, 8 kilograms, is suspended from two different strings, different string, 
different tension. So maybe that you might want to highlight that as you're making notes from watching this video. Different string, different tension. Lovely. Okay, so let, and they're both attached to this uh, particle here. Mass of eight kilograms, so force downwards of eight g, and we've got an angle here of thirty degrees and fifty degrees. And the question here is to find the tension in both the strings. So the important difference here is that the two strings have separate are separate strings, so they have different tensions in them. So different tension, different string. So for both of these forces, we're going to now have to resolve them. We're going to have a 30 degree force here by the Z angle rule. So we're going to have TA cos 30 and TA sine 30. And for this one here, it's going to be TB cos 50 and TB sine 50. So resolving vertically, we're going to have the blue forces going upwards, TA sine 30 and TB sine 50. We'll balance out with the HE force going downwards. And resolving horizontally, we're going to have leftward forces equal rightward forces. So it's TA cos 30 equals TB cos 50. So simultaneous equations here, maybe we will rearrange the second one. TA equals TB cos 50 over cos 30. And then bringing into play the first equation now, substituted in for the position of TA with this thing here. And then calculate the answer. You may have to do a bit of expanding uh, and then factorising the TB out. Divide by your uh, big old bracket here. So 8G divided by this big old bracket here gives you 68.9. And then once you've worked out 68.9, you can plug it back into your uh, substitution here. So you're going to get 51.2. Both of these are measured in Newtons. Lovely, there we are. So that's uh, the two different scenarios that you could be given about string uh, particles or s loops attached to strings. Remember, if it's one continuous piece of string, same tension. Dif two different strings, they're two different tensions. Okay, so your turn here to have a go at this question here then. Pause the video and try this question out. Right, okay, let's have a go at this question then. So, reading the first part carefully, a smooth bead B is threaded on a light inextensible string. And as soon as I see that, I should think, well, same string, it's a hoop that's been threaded through one continuous piece of string, so I'm going to have the same tension throughout my question here. So, upwards going in this direction here is T, and upwards in this direction here is going to be T as well. I've got two Newton force acting to the left, and it doesn't tell me how much my particle weighs, so I'm going to have to add that in myself. I'll put mg there as a value that I don't know, and now I've got two values I don't know, t and m. I've got a horizontal and a vertical component, so two equations, so I'll work out t and m by simultaneous equations. I remember from the couple of questions ago that if I resolve horizontally, m is not going to be involved, so I can work out t straight away from there. So if I resolve horizontally first, um, I'm going to need to work out the... I need to resolve my um, tensions here. So I'm going to know that that's a 30 degree angle from the z angle there. I know that from this z angle here, the backward z, I'm going to get a 60 degree angle. So on this side here, I'm going to get T cos 30. And on this side here, I'm going to get T sine 30. On this side here, I'm going to get T cos 60. And on this side here, I'm going to get T sine 60. Okay, great. So resolving uh, horizontally, um, so leftward forces equal rightward forces, I'm going to have T cos 30 equal, we're going to have the two Newton force as well, so 2 plus T cos 60. Okay, we've got two forces acting to the left, we've got the two Newton force and the resolved uh, tension force. So now we need to group these together. So 
com uh, combining t together, we're going to have t cos 30 minus t cos 60, so moving the t's to the left-hand side, equals 2. And then in brackets, we're going to have cos 30 minus cos 60 equals 2. So then t is going to be equal to, and I'll grab my calculator, make sure it's in degrees mode first, and I'm going to do 2 divided by brackets, cos 30 minus cos 60, and I get an answer of 2 plus 2 root, oh I could have worked that out, 2 plus 2 root 3 newtons, um, but as a value that is equal to 5.46. Okay, so that's the value of the tension, so done part A. Now for part B where I have to resolve vertically. So I've got two forces acting up here and the weight force that's acting downwards. So I'm going to have T sine 60 plus T sine 30 will be equal to the downwards force of mg. So in this case here, I'm going to factorise out t just like I did before. Or do I need to do that? No, I don't really need to do that, do I? And I've got 5.46 here, so I can just work out the value of that left-hand side. Uh, so answer times by sine 60 plus sine 30, 0.5. So I get an answer for that bit there of 7.46 equals mg. So then dividing by 9.8, because I need to work out the mass and not just the weight, I've got 0 0.76. So 0 0.76 kilograms is my mass. And part C, so it's part B done. Part C is state how I've used the modelling assumption that the bead is smooth in your calculations. Well, the bead is smooth, so there is no friction between the bead and the rope, or between the bead and the um, string, between the bead and the string. Okay, so there we are, that's the answer to this question here then. So have a go at plenty of the questions from exercise 7b. Um, and particularly have a go at these ones where we've got a string either hooped through or two different pieces of string attached to the same particle. Thanks very much for watching.